Hey, hey. What's the stream for? Fun. <laughs> what do you mean? There's not like a grand purpose to it. Just fun. Nice thumbnail. Yeah, I said that last time I streamed. One guy said I should do a smiling one, so I said sure. That was for that guy, who's probably not even here. Thanks, Omega. And thanks, Duo. No more Professor Sad. Well, you never know when he might sneak in. We'll see. I could bring him off the bench at some point. Yeah, it should be fun, Sasha. Please do a fruit juice tier list. We did a fruit tier list a couple of years ago. It was... The journalistic integrity on that fruit tier list was rough, though, because we got every single fruit out of season, so they weren't ripe. But damn it, we tried. I haven't decided what we're going to play tonight. Thanks for the 20, bro. And sure, schlub. Hey, Lemon. Would you do a stray moist meter? That's the dog movie, right? Yeah, is it the dog movie? Um, I don't know, maybe. Thanks, Nathan. And Alan. And Sheen. Just gonna go over some wacky stories for a bit and then haven't decided what we'll play yet. I think that Texas Chainsaw Massacre game came out today, right? I think that released. Yeah, that came out today. So maybe that. Maybe we'll give that a try. That seemed a bit goofy. What is that thumbnail? It's called the smile. Thanks for the big 50, King. And I can do that at the live event if you're going. Otherwise, I don't really know. And yeah, they usually get restocked every two or so weeks, Isa. Thanks, London and Sam. Do you still do roles for movies, or is streaming the full-time thing? That's so cute, the way you ask that, as if the reason I'm not in more movies is because I've been too focused on streaming. Not Hollywood corruption. That's the only reason I haven't been in movies, is because of fucking corruption in Hollywood. There's no film that wouldn't be improved with my expertise in the craft. Yeah, I played Dead by Daylight quite a bit. I don't play it super often, but it's still good. I don't dislike it. Do you think Elon watches your videos? Of course not. Everything Elon consumes, I bet, is carefully curated by a sensitivity team to make sure it doesn't upset him. I don't think Elon would ever dabble in something that might make him a little perturbed. Enjoy Meg 2. Movie's really fucking stupid, but it's fun. Have you seen the Baldur's Gate 3 sex speed run? Yes. I don't know if I'll run them myself, but I do know them. God damn it, thank you for the 100, Tyson. What do you mean, what is that thumbnail? I'm just smiling. It's a very good smile. Cheesing for the yearbook photo. What's that? This? 
G1 is an esports org that wasn't paying out their tournaments or paying their staff. And the CEO came forward like yesterday in order to address it. Yeah, we'd love to do more uh, basketball stuff with other content creators. That's definitely something that we want to do. Thanks, Shane and Anna. Welcome, Nick. Welcome, Matt. Would you speed run Cuphead? Probably not. Have I seen Christmas, Bloody Christmas? Nope. Never even heard of it. So this is a shitty movie? Oh! I remember this trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never saw it. Never will see it. But I do remember the trailer. It was a big stinker. The U.S. Defense Department has spent over a trillion dollars on the most cutting-edge robot technology. Introducing Robo Santa Plus for the upcoming holiday season. What are you gonna do this fine Christmas Eve? Glad to hear you really enjoyed it as a shitty movie. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, Tyson. No, I don't do that anymore, Tyson. Thank you for the generosity, though. What do you mean, Spongebob's guitar? I don't know that meme. Thanks, Lachlan. And Sage. Do you know murder drones? Yep. Yeah. I'm familiar. Of course I'm gonna stream Silk Song if it ever comes out. I'm starting to have my doubts that Silk Song is real. I'm very excited for it. I didn't play Hollow Knight until two years ago, I think. And I loved it. I had tried it a couple times before, but never actually got into it until two years ago. And I streamed the whole thing. I fucking loved it. Thanks, Miguel. I also don't know either. Welcome, booty. Haven't done Desert Treasure 2 yet, no. Thanks, Balter. It's 11 p.m. here. No, I'm going to be playing something tonight. I just don't know what yet. Maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That game looked a little silly. Maybe Dark and Darker. Thanks, Nick. Glad you like it. Wanted man signs up to be police officer, then gets arrested. Wanted man arrested after applying to become a police officer. That's such a big brain plan. I can actually understand what the thought process was. Legitimately. This is one of those things that almost sounds like a good idea until you give it more than three seconds of thought. Damn, they're after me. Where can I go where they'll never expect me? Under their nose. In the force. That's fire. A man applied to be an Arkansas police officer was arrested after authorities discovered he was wanted by police in Georgia. Nice. I haven't seen the 2008 Speed Racer film. It looked really cool. I just never watched it. No, was wholesome. Thanks, Young. Did you see Elon deleted his tweet about blocking? I can't say I saw that. That was probably all of the employees and those that need Twitter to not fail begging him to take it down. Do you think you could do the Goofy Goober guitar solo if given the chance? No, I don't know how to play guitar. What was your favorite Bionicle? I don't remember their names. 
Welcome, Mark. No, Twitter's not dead yet. It, like I said, though, if they did go through with that and got removed from the app stores, that would be quite disastrous. But no, it's not dead. Despite Elon's best efforts. Would you ever speedrun Left 4 Dead 2? I haven't checked in on the route in a while, but I usually just look for ones that are quick with good glitches and cool tech. And I, last time I checked, Left 4 Dead doesn't really have a lot of that. Thanks, Bill. Well, I definitely have an addiction to goofiness, true. You should get Post Malone to do a tier list with you. That'd be hype. Would love to. We talked about it. Maybe we will. That's up to him. What's going on with the hurricane? It's actually so interesting you bring that up. Matt and I were just talking about that today. You're talking about the Super Category 6 Hurricane, right? The, the conspiracy? Yeah. So, yesterday, or I think it was yesterday or the day before, we had some people at the warehouse. And I don't remember what they were there for, but Matt was the one with them. And one of them had mentioned, like... We need to really get ready and hunker down because there's a Category 6 hurricane about to hit Florida in the next two weeks. And it didn't register with Matt how outlandish that statement was. Because a Category 6 doesn't exist. And also knowing two weeks out that a Category 6 was about to hit is very uh, unrealistic. So then I had to inform Matt of the Category 6 conspiracy that started on TikTok by an alleged time traveler. That was a fun conversation. Welcome aboard, Devin. And thanks, CXD. Elon definitely does like the letter, letter X. Welcome aboard, 6. Tomorrow there's one in Cali. Is there? I, I don't know about that one. But the Super Category 6, that's the hot shit. No, I'm not familiar with their work, Spike. Did you see the Dark and Darker case got dropped in court? Nexon's case gets dismissed. Oh, this is breaking news. That's super hype. Does that mean it's coming back to Steam? What a W. Dark and darker, dark and darker devs' legal woes are over for now. Nexon's lawsuit has only been dismissed on the grounds the case would be better heard in South Korea. Oh, so kind of on a technicality right now. Thanks to the tin, bro. And welcome aboard, Lindsay and Sinful. And thanks, Spooky. We've long maintained that the U.S. lawsuit was a heavy-handed attempt by a much larger game company to overpower its smaller competitor. A statement from Iron Mace reads, We are gratified that the court recognized Nexon's litigation tactics for what they were, noting that it was suspicious of Nexon's true motives in filing this action in the United States in the first place. Fortunately, Nexon's bullying approach to litigation did not succeed. This doesn't mean they can't try again, right? Hit them with that what about second breakfast? And then sue them in South Korea? Welcome, Vib, and thank you for the big 50 Victoria. Yeah, Super Fight is kind of unmatched when it comes to quality. I just heard about California getting a hurricane. Oh, it's super sweet. Well, thank you, Mitch. Hope you guys are doing well. Haven't finished Thriller Bark yet.
Given the ruling in court, it could well be the case that Nexon chooses to take its lawsuit to Korea where developer Iron Mace is based. There's no guarantee that the publisher opts to do this right now, as we've not heard any comment from Nexon since the U.S. court's ruling yesterday. I would imagine they will sue them again. That's my guess. I don't think they're just going to throw their hands up and say, Dag nabbit, they got us. I think this is just beginning, but still a W nonetheless. Thanks, Global in June. Of course I know about Killdozer. That's Marvin. And yes, they are Austin. It's automatically getting refunded like that. Do I still celebrate Halloween? <laughs> You're never too old to celebrate Halloween, man. But no, I don't go trick-or-treating. You won't see me at your doorstep asking for candy. But yeah, I still, I still believe in Halloween. It's not against my beliefs. Hi, Jalen. Yeah, I saw the house explosion in Pennsylvania. That shit is terrifying. Looked at my butthole in the mirror and it blew my mind. Everyone should see their own at least once. Yeah, fair enough. Congrats, man. That's huge. That's a big moment. Haven't played Halo Infinite since their new updates, no, but I hear good things. And yes, I know about the question mark in space. It's not like aliens or anything. It's just one of the deep galaxies that happens to look like a question mark. Or, not deep galaxies. What was it again? It wasn't a galaxy, right? Oh, it actually was. Yeah, a little side quest out in the cosmos. Welcome, Mega Man. Thank you, Family Guy. Debate Hassan about AOT. Does he not like Attack on Titan? Is it possible to just not like Attack on Titan? I think that show is just generally, like, objectively good. Welcome, pleb. It's the Space Riddler. Yeah, you know. Thanks, Big Red and Andrew. Interstellar travel within lifetime is possible while moving at near light speed because of length contraction and time dilation working in favor of the passengers. Brother, I make YouTube videos. <laughs> I, I, I don't know enough to confirm nor deny your statement on faster than light travel. Have not played Signalis, but I do know about it. And like I said, I might do a solo Baldur's Gate 3 campaign at some point. Not anytime super soon, though. And I'm adjusting the room is all. I'm adding more to it. Have you heard of the Seven Foot Aliens in Peru? So, I haven't kept up aside from, like, watching Mudahar's work on it. But apparently there's a lot of reports about alien attacks in Peru. And I saw one of the videos. I'll pull it up real quick. And I gotta tell ya. It's, it's pretty compelling stuff. Where is it? I saw it on Twitter earlier. It's a very cool Adobe After Effects reel. Appreciate it fully. Thank you for that. And thank you, AFOX. Thanks for a long time of watching. God damn, man. Where, where is it? Does someone have the... What Twitter account posted it? It was one of those, like, breaking news reptilians among us type tabloid accounts. Let me see. And I didn't see it on the UFO subreddit.
indigenous community in the man shoes didn't fall it first crawled nude in brazil is this it no mystery of the seven foot Study tall IQ. flying aliens sabhi mal ka claim kiya hai jo ye jo ki tarike se where is the ufo fighting footage Oh, I'm not sure, Abraham. Are you talking about Charlie Zelenov? He used to challenge a ton of people to fights out of nowhere. So there's a ton of videos and clips of, like, really low-effort footage about these supposed alien attacks in Peru. But now I can't find the originals. Did the government take them down? Fucking space lasers and aliens. It's all going tits up right now. Where is the UFO attack? Hold on. Let me try searching it directly. I think Mudahar retweeted it yesterday or today. No, maybe not. Well, this is frustrating. Thanks, Hunter. Depending on their intelligence, we could be in... We could... Be homies. Maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's probably what they're here for. They came to Peru to be our friend. Where is the fucking footage? It's really cool. Cool is the wrong word, by the way. What, what else should I try typing in? Maybe Peru UFO alien attack? Flying aliens in Peru are actually miners with jetpacks. I, I don't know what that's about. Whatever, I'm sure I'll find it later. Thanks, Infinity. Yesterday I saw a video of a Duende, an Argentinian goblin, running behind a baby, and it was clearly an adult man in his underwear shrunk down. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, whatever. Skeptic. Idiot. That was probably an Argentinian goblin. He just refused to believe. Thanks for the long time of watching, Julian. Appreciate that. I'm not gonna lie though, I am legitimately impressed just how dumb the world is becoming. First we had the giant, now it's Adobe After Effects, UFOs shooting in Peru. Apparently now Argentinian goblins running around. We also had the gnome spotting recently. Shit's great. Oh, I appreciate that, Daniel. Glad you like it. Thank you. My girlfriend keeps trying to argue that you are lactose intolerant. Can you confirm or deny? What do you mean argue? Are you, like, fighting her on it without knowing? My girlfriend, she's such a, she's such a scoundrel. She keeps saying you're lactose intolerant, Charlie, but you wouldn't be that weak, right? I, I, I'm not, like, super lactose intolerant, but I just recently went dairy and gluten-free to try it. So that's been, like, two weeks. Because I definitely am lactose intolerant to some degree, but it's not like a kryptonite that's going to have me keeled over. But I just feel better when I don't have dairy. So I'm trying dairy and gluten-free. See how it goes. Mm. 
What features would it take for you to believe that Threads can be a Twitter topping platform? Do you work for Threads? You trying to get some insight? Um, let's see. The main thing I think Threads could probably do is immediately set the precedent early on what is and is not going to be the identity of the platform. For example, Twitter keeps changing everything. It's very volatile. And it's seemingly random how it works. So if Threads can come out with a very clear line on what is and is not going to be allowed on the platform, that immediately helps start it a bit. But... I really think it's just an uphill battle because the only reason people are on Twitter isn't because it's good. It's just because everyone's already there. Aside from that, you can't really do much. Have you seen the dirt mount on Mount Arata? It could be Noah's Ark. What is happening? What What is happening? Thanks, Jin. Have I seen the dirt mount in Arata that could be Noah's Ark? Is Noah's Ark on Mount Ar Ararat? <laughs> this is from an Instagram post, or sorry, a Facebook post. Can't say I'm familiar with this one. It seems like an interesting theory. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look at it later. Yeah, my white t-shirts I'm washing right now. Thanks, Philip. And welcome, Hayden. I can tell you about a confirmed cryptid sighting. There's a goblin in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> okay, I'll check them out. We got real goblins out there now. Let's see. Rare goblin sighting, Cyrax in Ohio. It's a well-lit area, so no one suspects any- Actually, hold on, this could absolutely be like some illegal shit coming up here. Some terms of service violations. So no one's quite sure what to make of the creature. Kids see if they can get a better care again, but the boys do leave baffled. Then why was it walking the way that it was? It's what? literally a shirtless guy. It's actually just a shirtless man. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Is this a joke? It's it's legitimately a shirtless man walking around in the rain. Small goblin like creature. No one's quite sure what to make. So it is a joke then. Okay. I was gonna say. There are people that really do believe goblins are amongst us. So you never really know. Did you see the Twitter drama around the Scooby Doo Spring Trap, the fan made crossover between Scooby Doo and the Five Nights at Freddy's that got blasted for having AI voices? I did, I kept up with all of that discourse. That shit got so messy. Thanks, Way. Didn't know you were streaming. Yeah, YouTube's really bad about that. There's a lot YouTube needs to fix on the streaming side of things that would make it infinitely better. I still do bad game nights, yeah. I haven't done one in, like, three weeks. But bad game nights aren't, like, that rare. It's just I've been starting streams so late that I don't feel like perusing Steam. Just had a lot going on. But once I start an earlier stream, I'll do a bad game night. Sure. And now I didn't hear about that guy. I also don't know what that means. What did he steal from babies?
why don't I go hunting for garbage trucks anymore? Well, I found their watering hole. I don't need to hunt for them anymore. I, I know where they gather. So anytime I want to look at a garbage truck, I know where to go. Hold on, quick text message. Okay. Sorry to hear you had a bad day, Michael. Hope tomorrow's better. Have you seen the 11 foot 8 bridge? Yeah, that's iconic. And I talked about that the other night, Pizzle. I've seen. Yeah, we talked about that two days ago, I think, Swafty. There hasn't been anything new on that front. I think they're still investigating all of this stuff on the... Linus Media Group side. So we'll have to see how all of that turns out, but certainly not looking good. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty good, Reese. Would you try to do an interview or invite Elon Musk to your podcast? Sure, why do you represent him? He'd never do that. Like I said, that guy absolutely has like a curated like sensitivity team around him where he will not do things that'll make him uncomfortable or upset. I don't think he'd ever do it. But he's welcome to if you're in the chat, Elon. You're welcome to come on. We'd love to pick your brain. Yeah, I know about Bomb Rush. I'm still middle of Thriller Bark. I haven't watched in the last couple days. No, that sounds terrible though, Arturo. I didn't see that. It's awful though. Welcome board, CJ. Godslap issue 4 just came out... Eight days ago. And issue 5 will be out, I believe, first week of November-ish. So yeah. Always more Godslap around the corner. You always say aliens would have to crack faster than light physics to get here, but that's not true. Traveling at just below light speed will also work due to realistic effects at high speed. EDP got caught again. These are two super different messages back to back. EDP got caught again and the other guy's talking about aliens being able to travel here thanks to some of the ways that the uh, just, under faster than light, just under light speed travel works. I, I want to believe you're right. I would love if aliens actually came here. I'll tell you where they're not, though, is Peru, firing on random civilians. But I would love if aliens did come here. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah, I know Shadow Hearts. I didn't play it, though. And I think Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 has been great. Your EDP videos be like Matt Pat with Five Nights at Freddy's? What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> no, they are not. I don't craft any theories around EDP. It's, it, it, I just lay down the, the brass tacks. Unless, of course, you mean by like the reoccurring nature of it. and In that case, blame him. He's literally like the fucking box ghost. He's just a villain that keeps coming back to get laughed at. I don't know how he avoided jail. He got super lucky. So now he just keeps rolling the dice.
Did you see Pinky Doll, the NPC streamer, having a meltdown over her leaked OnlyFans? Yeah, that was just a publicity thing, though. Just to let people know she had an OnlyFans, I think. I don't think that was genuine. No one in 2023 AD doesn't know how Google works or the internet. So I'm, I'm not buying that. That would be very cool, Jedi. Maybe down the line, yeah. Thanks, puppet. I didn't see it, agape. Your thumbnail looks like my grandpa when he took his first Xanax. I'll give your grandpa a fist bump for me. He's a good man. He's been through a lot. He earned it. If dude wants to take some Xanny, let him. Hear about the boycott on War Thunder. Now what happened? Did the War Thunder boycott work? Did it even happen? That's from June 10th. I know about the review bombing, but I don't know about a boycott. And this was also back in June, so I'm assuming it's resolved now. I actually don't even remember what the review bombing was for. Welcome party. Yeah, Risk of Rain 2 is a banger. You heard of, you heard about the guy that spent a week in Area 51 looking for an old page. You make it sound like Slender Man. What do you mean he's looking for an old page? Yeah, I don't see anything about that. Welcome, view. You need to have a fencing tournament with Moby Huges. I don't know about that. I don't think they'd make for a great tool. Did you hear about the girl sentenced for driving 100 miles per hour, killing her boyfriend and his friend? Yeah, so I never heard that story. But I saw the headline, and then I saw her reaction to it, and it made me really mad that she was somehow surprised. Let me pull that up. So apparently this girl... Oh, God. I'm not turning off ad block. Stop. Apparently this girl got upset about something and then drove 100 miles per hour into a wall intentionally, which killed her boyfriend and one other. And somehow she was like surprised about it, that she was getting sentenced. I don't even know how she survived. I actually didn't read all the details here. Surviving a 100 mile per hour crash in one piece is crazy. Prosecutors said she had gone on a mission to kill Russo by purposely driving her car 100 miles per hour into a wall with her boyfriend inside. Russo's friend David was also inside the car and died as well. Man, the airbags in that car on the driver's side must have been crazy. I, I genuinely don't know how she survived. And yeah, I did see it, Andy. Have you heard Post Malone on the new Tiny Desk proclaim your let's go right after he finishes his first song? I watched his Tiny Desk performance. I don't think that was a, a reference to me or anything, even though that'd be very cute. Uh, I don't think we'd do a box mac and cheese tier list.
Yeah, I planned to, Astro. We were... The reason we haven't done a speedrun challenge in a while is because we were in the middle of trying to do something to make it even bigger, but it's looking like that's falling through, so we'll probably just go back to doing it how we were. And of course I will, Jimmy. Thank you for that. And yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 looks great. I'm not flashing the camera. Maybe. Maybe at some point in the future. We'll see. We'll see how things go. You never know what to expect during these streams. Welcome board law. Yeah, we got a lot cooking, Vib. The D&D content will start within about a month-ish. Welcome, Samuel. Have you been keeping up in the latest in hobby horse races? Uh, I haven't in a while. Why, what's going on with hobby horses? This is one of the few things where I really feel like a big hipster, because all of these obscure competitions I'm very familiar with, but TikTok blew them all up recently as like circus sh like clown shows. So hobby horsing is something I've been very familiar with for a while. It's this. There's even an iconic one from... S I don't think it's this one. Is it the is it the Finland show? It might be. But there's a, there's a really big one where one of the greatest hobby horsers of all time came out and put on an absolute clinic. And now this whole thing's blown up thanks to TikTok. I'm legitimately a hipster when it comes to very obscure sports and competitions. Oh, another one. I, I'm, I'm really going to go in here for a minute because another one that also blew up is Kabaddi. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Kabaddi, but Kabaddi is a sport that I'm also super familiar with that blew up recently thanks to TikTok. And then, even further, is the Kabaddi matches, which is the slapping ones. So all of these have really gone viral. And I've been here from, from the get-go. Like, I feel a certain sense of pride seeing these things really explode in popularity. This is where they slap each other's chests. I still don't know what the rules are or how you win, but it's pretty cool regardless. What a jump slap. Oh, I know. This guy's good. This is the biggest video I think that's been floating around. Because this guy's really good. He gets good hang time on all of them. But yeah, don't ask me what the rules are because I legitimately don't have a single clue. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy. I'm happy to watch it. It's a good spectator sport. Thanks, Garf. Thanks, Christian. Underwater ironing or extreme ironing? Oh, I know all about extreme ironing. You're not going to name an obscure sport that I don't know about. I, I promise you. <laughs> there, I don't think there is one. Like, I bet you cowards don't even know about extreme wife-carrying competitions, do you? You make me sick. You guys are all so uncultured, it's, re it's revolting. Ooh, thank you for that puppet. Appreciate the five members. Yeah, someone mentioned that a couple days ago, Psycho, so I looked it up. I just made a whole video on cheese rolling because they recently crowned a wild champion. She damn near killed herself to win. Thanks, Andy. Sheep Shearing World Championship. Yeah, those are pretty cool. What's your favorite obscure sport? I don't know about my favorite, but the... Do you want to know the most dangerous sport I've ever seen? Um, I can't remember the name of it. Hold on, give me two seconds. This is a sport nobody watches, but they're literally risking life and limb for. Hold 
um, what is it called? Canoe polo. That's what it's called. Canoe polo. I knew it was something like that, but I couldn't remember what it was. So in canoe polo, here, I'll just play you a, a, a brief clip. They start by throwing this in the middle of the pool, and then they just turbo speed at it and use their canoe, or it's more like a kayak. I don't know why it's canoe polo, but they use their canoe like a torpedo, like an actual fucking missile. It is so dangerous. It is so dangerous. And nobody watches it. They actually just do it for the love of this sport. Oh yeah, missing teeth, the whole nine. It is a remarkably dangerous sport. But that's how pretty much all of the kickoffs start, just like that. If the game doesn't begin with a concussion, then the game doesn't begin at all. It is a scary sport. <laughs> it is it is actually just CTE on on an aquatic setting. Yeah, more like just jousting with kayaks. You ever watch Gurning World Championship? Yeah, one guy dominates that entire fucking league though. The six basic body rules are the playing area, the team's objectives, raiders objectives for defenders and officials. Do you know about raider competitions? Be more specific, that's definitely not the name. What about the guys that have full-on night battles? You mean like M1? Yeah. Probably not going to play any Trackmania tonight. Hi, Bleep. Never heard of it, Jimmy. Ear pulling is one sport. Ear pulling's mainstream now. Ear pulling blew up thanks to, um... Why can't I remember his channel? He does a lot of good content, and now I can't remember his channel. John Boy. He covers a lot of that kind of stuff. So ear pulling's gone mainstream. I was here before it was cool. There's a sport I saw where you play basketball and do wrestling at the same time. Yeah, that's a new one. MMA, MMA, Jesus, MMA cross basketball. I think AMP did that recently. Thanks, Anthony. Doing alright, Josh. Husband calling's kind of lame, though. But I do know it. Hey, Rev, hope you're doing well. <clears throat> the JROTC Raider competitions. That is one I've not heard of. Thanks, Ricky. Have you seen this story about a guy who calls himself Chiefs Chiefs Aholic? He's on trial for robbing a bank and laundering money. Let me see. Hold on. Quick text message, though. Trial date set for Xavier 
Babadar, a.k.a. Chief's Aholic, after he pleads not guilty to charges. Which I guess are bank robbery. Where can I find just like a full breakdown of this situation? Chief Superfan, Chief Saholic, indicted on 19 charges including bank robbery and money laundering. Is this him in the fursuit? When they say bank robbery, do, do they mean like he actually went into a bank and robbed them? Or like a digital kind of bank robbery? Because imagine this guy going in in the fursuit and robbing a bank. That shit is terrifying. He was indicted by a federal grand jury Wednesday for allegedly robbery, robbing a string of banks in the Midwest and allegedly laundering the stolen cash through casinos, according to a statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Wow. Damn. I'm doing alright, Timothy. Hope you're having a good night. Extreme pillow fighting's pretty hype, yeah. And I'm unfamiliar, Andy. Have we seen the firework machine gun? The one on Twitter? Yeah. And I'm very familiar with Karjutsu. JT actually runs that. The guy who runs Slap Fight Championship. He's behind Karjutsu, so I'm very familiar. Oh, it was armed bank robbery. This guy was not playing any games. He was allegedly responsible for six robberies and two attempted robberies during a nine-month stretch between March and December of 2022. Nine months. He stole more than 800k in total and allegedly purchased and redeemed more than a million in chips from various casinos. How did he get away with it for nine months? Babadar gained fame by attending most Chiefs games dressed in a gray-masked wolf suit. Authorities allege he was able to finance his travel and attendance for these games through crime. Holy shit. He actually robbed banks so that way he could go to the Chiefs games. In addition to the robberies, he allegedly gambled on the results of Chiefs games without reporting his winnings. Holy shit. He was initially arrested in December of 2022, but later cut his ankle monitor and fled the state while out on bond after winning 100k on bets from Illinois sportsbooks. Jesus Christ. All that just to go to Chiefs games. Brother, just watch it on TV. Man robbed six banks just to go to more Chiefs games. Welcome aboard, okay. Thanks, V. Did you hear about the guy who set up a bank in an elevator? No, I can't say I did. No, I don't think I'll play the Mortal Kombat 1 beta. I'll just wait for it to come out. Armored Core tonight? It's not out. I saw they're doing like a live stream of Armored Core 6 though, but it's not actually out and I'm clearly not invited to indulge. Did you see Skechers and Snoop Dogg are collaborating for Bored Ape NFTs? NFT shoes. Amazing. Really striking while the iron is hot. Board apes are completely dead. Snoop Dogg really does say yes to actually anything that pays him. And it, it, I can't even imagine it's that much anymore with the amount of shit he says yes to. This is two days old. Snoop Dogg cross Skechers collab. For fucking board apes. <laughs> what the fuck, man?
Thanks, Dark Horse, and welcome aboard, Bimodal. Snoop Dogg and his bored ape, Dr. Bombay, are teaming up with Skechers to launch a line of sneakers inspired by their NFT persona. I see. Snoop Dogg is really trying to drum up hype around Bored Apes again so he can finally dump this fucking NFT since it hit record lows. All of these NFTs have bottomed out, so this is probably a last-ditch Hail Mary to try and drum up the hype and sell instantly. And Skechers is so out of touch they'll say yes to anything that even makes them believe they'll have a chance at cracking at anything under the 55-plus market. Sketchers are worn exclusively by 4-year-olds or 54-year-olds and nothing in between. Well, except me. I wear Sketchers, but nobody else, and I get made fun of for wearing Sketchers. Hey, thanks for that. Thank you, Skay. You should. Okay, well, bah humbug to you as well. I mean, they're comfortable. What do you want from me? They're comfortable. The collection includes three models, Skechers, Uno, Doggy Air, and Hyper Sandal, each incorporating design elements from Dr. Bombay's persona. Wow. The sneaker will be available for purchase on the Skechers website, offering a fusion of Snoop's iconic style and bored ape, creativ bored ape creativity. Do you take me for a fool? This is pathetic. Yeah, I'm familiar with all of that, Slayer. I don't really have any advice, though, but I hope you enjoy it. Main thing is just having fun, and thank you, Luke. NFTs are super dead. I really don't know what the, the, the thought process was here, other than just desperately trying to dump his NFT as quickly as possible with some kind of return. With Skechers, hands-free, slip-in technology, comfort and style are trademark of these kicks. Man, even when they're trying to make Skechers sound cool, it just sounds lame. Skechers, hands-free, slip-in technology. <laughs> uh, it hurts. <laughs> you won't see other major shoe brands start touting that shit. Like, you're not going to have the next line of Jordans come out and be like, our hands-free slip-in comfort technology. Damn you, Skechers. Why can't you just be cool? Have you heard about the Miami woman who tried to hire a hitman to kill her three-year-old son? I talked about that a while ago. That's actually an extremely sad situation. That's pretty deep. Really fucked up, too. And thanks, Atomic. Have you seen that Michael Orr has zero evidence that the Blindside family actually got paid for the movie? He was probably just trying to create buzz for a book he's pushing. I didn't see that. So I saw a couple of other things come out, but none of them really countered his statements. So I'll have to look more into it, but that is a wacky situation. Welcome aboard, Burby. No, I don't know that one. Never heard of that game. You hear about the baby killer nurse that was arrested recently? You're talking about the woman in the UK, right? She killed like 70 children or something crazy? Yeah, Lucy Letby. She was the one that killed them with like insulin and everything. So fucked up. So they finally released the footage, it is what it was. Did 
just pure evil. Hey, well, thanks, Luke. Our next Moist Wrestling episode is getting taped in a couple days and will be up later this week. Welcome, Dan. Thanks, Mechanical. Hope you enjoy him. I hope you had a good day, H2. What do you think about COSA? Do you think it's going to pass? I don't think it's going to pass. If it does, that would be disastrous. But yeah, we talked about this quite a bit. This is that internet censorship bill. Parading around as some kind of like child protection bill. It's this one. I don't think it'll pass. But if it does, that would be horrifying. Hi Justin, and thanks Kiss. We, we wrote it, just never got made, Ducky. Read it on stream years ago. Thanks, Philip. What is COSA? There's quite a few good videos that have been made on it, but basically all you need to know is that it would censor the internet. It's It, it would just... It'd be outright censorship. Bad for everybody. Have you heard about the serial sniffer at Barnes and Nobles that got arrested? Yeah. I saw. They, f they finally got him. The nefarious serial sniffer. There's a clip of it too, hold on. I don't know how long he'd been sniffing, bef uh, sniffing for. I haven't read the entire story yet. But they, they got him. It's like a Batman criminal. Man accused of sniffing woman at Barnes and Nobles arrested for failing to register as a sex offender. Didn't know that's what he got arrested for. That's quite the plot twist, but here's the footage. Christine, the records actually show he has been booked at least nine times just within the last two years. Uh, one of his victims calls his all for sniffing ass. Disturbing, gross, downright creepy, and she today is reacting to the news that he's free yet again. I recorded just in case he was trying to say anything or do anything to me. But I definitely didn't expect him to do this. <laughs> like, what the actual f Jesus Christ. Leader, Michaela Witter caught this serial sniffer in the act while shooting this now viral TikTok. I was so freaked out when I- I gotta be honest. I don't understand how this is so common. This is just such a weird fetish that seems kind of common. I made a whole video about- Well, I guess the whole video wasn't about ass sniffing. But there was a component of it. There was a guy at a gym. I think he was like even a security guard at the gym. Who went up to a woman who was doing tricep extensions. And he literally laid down on the floor and sniffed her ass. Did it three different times. And then there was another guy at a bank. Who did the same thing to a girl waiting in line. A couple different times just went up to her and just huffed her fumes. It's so psychotic. I can't believe that it's, the, like, common. It almost feels like it's common, I mean. With how much footage there is of this shit happening. Saw him literally under me. So freaking close to me. It happened last week at a Burbank Barnes & Noble. What Michaela didn't know at the time was the sniffer's lengthy criminal history. I kind of got a flood. Well, you can just tell this is not his first rodeo. Seeing that he's done the same thing to them. In different this is a professional sniffer. What not. Days before, 37-year-old Khaleesi Karen Crowder was accused of peeping into a Glendale home with kids inside. Law enforcement sources say he was arrested and released days later. My heart drops. My heart drops when I was first told well, it, then. and then my heart dropped again when I looked it up and saw that he really was released. I was creeped out, and it was just like this really weird 
feeling that I still have yep. it. Kind of- That's pretty wacky. That's pretty fucking weird. No, I haven't seen that, Shay. And appreciate it, Benji. I, I I wasn't gonna say anything, man, but those ears are going crazy. Those ears look like something I would have made in Naraka Blade Point in the character creator. Looking like Shrek ears out here. That is a that is a wild shape to the ears, I will say. Chat is not wrong. I don't understand. That is confusing geometry. Have you just, have you checked out Spark the Electric Jester? No, I've never even heard of that. That's fucking evil, Jake, and no, that's news to me. Welcome aboard, Noah. Thanks, Jason. What the fuck? I'm sorry to hear that, Danny. Christ. Hope you enjoy it, Jake. You hear about the serial killer that'll be let out after killing over 400 kids. What? What are you talking about? Luis Garavito, a man who killed more than 400 boys between the ages of 6 and 13. He's dead. What do you mean he's being let out? He's dead. What, are they letting out his corpse or something? Oh wait, no, he's not dead. Why does this one report on him being dead? Is he dead or not dead? There's two sources that say he's dead, and now two that say he's not. What do I believe? Okay, he's not dead. Worst serial killer in modern history becomes eligible for parole this year. Jesus Christ. So it's proven that he killed 193 victims, but is suspected of murdering over 300 more. Oh my god. He would pose as a priest and would lure children with offers of money. Wow. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Mario. Welcome, Glum. Yeah, it is just downright beyond evil. I've never even heard of his name before, actually. But he's the most prolific serial killer of the modern age. Welcome, Caitlin. No, that sounds like it's some kind of error. Just send a message, Jansen. It'll get taken care of. Did you hear about the microchips and the cheese? I'm going to have to check that out right now. Goddamn government cheese. Appreciate that, Ghostman. Thanks for the five members. This company is implanting microchips in its cheese. Oh, wait, this is a real thing. Oh, my God, wait. This isn't a conspiracy. There's a company that's actually microchipping their Parmesan. 
I thought this was going to be like one of those 15-minute city agendas. Bill Gates is controlling my mind via microchips through COVID. This, they're actually microchipping their cheese. One of the world's most famous cheese is also one of the most counterfeited dairy products on the planet. Competing manufacturers have for years produced cheaper imitations of it Italy's Parmigiano Reggiano, a favored topping for pasta and salad. Now the producers of Parmigiano Reggiano say they have innovated a way to prevent any pretenders from ripping off their product. Is there only one company in the world that makes Parmesan? <laughs> no shot, right? That's just, that is just a type of cheese. They can't own the whole thing, can they? Who, do they have like a patent on it? Like who, who owns it? This is such a stupid Google search I'm doing right now. Christ. There's an entire page dedicated to it called the History of Parmesan. Italy issued a decree that placed exclusive control over the production and sale of this cheese in the hands of Parmigiano Reggiano Cheese Consorzio. Oh, what in the world? I had no idea the Parmesan lore went so deep. This is huge. It's even crowned the undisputed king of cheese. This is an incredible story. This is like the Game of Thrones, but for cheese. I'm going to have to go through that entire history breakdown of Parmesan. There's probably wars fought over it like Helen of Troy. They weren't actually battling for Helen. She just happened to have Parmesan. They were going to war for that shit. Good God. Alright, let's read about these microchips, though. Parmigiano Reggiano Consortium, the PRC association that oversees production of the cheese says it has been putting microchips in its product as a part of a technological trial which would allow consumers to trace parmesan cheese back to its place of origin who's doing that who is doing who what sane normal human being is gonna try and trace back their parmesan like i'm not gonna go to a like italian restaurant like with my buddies and they get like spaghetti they start sprinkling the parmesan i'm not gonna like slap the <laughs> slap the waiter's hand down and be like, wait a minute, let me see the microchip. I need to trace this back to make sure it's coming from the PRC. Otherwise, I'm having this establishment shut down. I'll have the Parmesan police force come after you. Why would this even be an option? Like, I could, I could maybe see it being on a company side, like if a restaurant's ordering Parmesan, giving them the option to see if it's, like, authentic coming from the, the approved place of origin... But just a normal consumer, I don't think anyone's going to get suspicious and want to double check. Like, let, let me ensure my Parmesan came from the right spot. <clears throat> Appreciate that. Thank you, Hopeful. I hope you're doing well. And of course, I saw the Montgomery boat brawl. That shit was crazy. And goddamn, speaking of crazy, thank you for the 100 Glumbo. Thank you for that. Under special protections designated by the European Union, Parmigiano Reggiano is the only kind of cheese which can be called Parmesan within Europe, and it must be made in a small part of northern Italy, including in the, proven in the provinces of Parma and Reggio, Emilia. I saw that. I, in, in my massive dissertation that I pulled up for a moment there on the history of Parmesan, I did see about like it needing to come from a certain space and nowhere else. But I didn't realize it was a title that could only be bestowed upon, like, this cheese from this particular region. I thought it was just a type of cheese that anyone can make. Thanks, Boneless. Yeah, I can check that out. PRC are hopeful that their new technology will help to enforce that protected status. Their microchips are about the size of a grain of salt and have been inserted into the labels found on the rind of about 120,000 wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano. The chicks work as a scannable food tag with a QR code label. 
I'm going to start tracing my Parmesan. I'm going to go to my local grocers and I'm just going to trace all of their Parmesan. I'm going to be a hall monitor for this shit now. I'm going to be like a, like a secret agent working for them. This feels so weird. Like, I, I just can't imagine there's a ton of cheese snobs that are going to double check to make sure they're getting authentic Parmesan. Produced in the right places of Parma and Reggio. Thanks, Steven. Hope you're having a good night. And welcome aboard, Titan. It has to be authentic, though. Yeah, true. In an email statement sent on Friday, Nicola Bertinelli, president of Consorzio Parmigiano Reggiano, told CBS News that by being the first to incorporate these secure digital labels onto our cheese wheels, we can continue to ensure customer safety. Since the establishment of our consortium in 1934, we have worked to convey the value of our product globally and distinguish it from similar sounding products on the market that did not meet our strict requirements for production and area of origin. They speak about this like it's the app, like it's the goddamn Citadel in Mass Effect. Since the establishment of our consortium in 1934, Nicola, it's cheese. I really just don't think there's a ton of people that give a fuck. Now, I guess I didn't realize how serious business cheese was. I'm curious. Let me see what my local grocer has for Parmesan. Because there's definitely different brands, right? Like, there's not just one Parmesan brand. Oh, this is big news, too. If you just type in Parmesan, there's news stories out the wazoo about the microchips. The headlines are a little misleading. Classic fear-mongering, I guess. The microchips aren't actually in the cheese. Apparently, it's in the label. So you're not going to consume the microchip unless it somehow bleeds into the cheese from the label. And if that's the case, then Parma, uh, whatever, the PRC have got some big problems on their hand. Yeah, there's so many different brands here. There's no way they all come from the right from the same place. And they all call themselves Parmesan. So what are the rules and regulations then? There's even an entire market of domestic American made Parmesan. At least according to this. Thanks for that, Liliana. And thanks. I'm glad you liked it. No, it seems like it's Caesar. A secret cheese invasion. I, I don't know, man. This is very odd. In the United States, Parmigiano Reggiano does not have protected status, and American manufacturers in states like Wisconsin make different forms of Parmesan. Okay. I see. Man. They must be pissed about that. They have got to be so upset. And this is the worst time in the world to be using the word microchip. Parmigiano Reggiano, like the official PRC producers, they have chosen the worst possible marketing strategy by saying they're microchipping their cheese. People are freaking out about microchips existing in their goddamn water supply. Toilet bowls with government surveillance. Saying that we microchip our cheese for your safety, that you're scaring people. <laughs> you're fucking scaring people. They need a new head of their marketing department because that is a big L. They're struggling with that one. Big Parma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is serious business. It, this is Big Parma. Outside of the United States, the Parmigiano Reggiano Consortium successfully blocked the U.S. food giant Kraft Heinz from registering the name Kraft Parmesan Cheese as a trademark in Ecuador in 2022. Well, I guess that's a small W for the PRC on that one, I guess. I 
Thanks, Schmitz. True. And welcome aboard, Blackberry and Leo. Parmesan is different than Parmigiano Reggiano. They age differently and made in different places and taste different. There's a name for a cheese sommelier, right? They have a they have their own name, and it's a really cool one. Hold on. Because maybe it's time that I try and get into the high cheese society. So that way I wouldn't even need the microchip. I'd be able to taste where it was aged. In a fine oak barrel while listening to Mozart. What is the name of a cheese sommelier? Cheese has its own cutthroat version of the Court of Masters sommelier. They have honey experts? It's pretty cool. In hopes of gaining cheese certification, he sits for the American Cheese Society ACS Technical Aesthetic Sensory Tasting Evaluation Test. Taste. This is codenamed Kids Next Door type shit. I like that. Ooh. No, I didn't see that. Iris, that sounds terrifying though. Hopefully everyone's alright. Can't say I've heard that story, Liz. In 2018, only 30 applicants passed the taste test. If that weren't daunting enough, the American Cheese Society also offers the title Certified Cheese Professional, CCP, which means that an individual has acquired thorough knowledge and level of expertise that is demanded within the cheese industry. Those who, those who pass both earn a lengthy array of letters after their names. The ACS, the CCP, the ACS, CCSE. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm writing this down. I want me and, me and the team to try and pass the Cheese Society taste test. I think that's going to make for a banger video. See if we can crack high cheese society. When a person, where a person's individual palate is subjective, the process of evaluating cheese is not so much. It's not personal preference, but knowing if that cheese is within the parameters of the style it is and what the cheese maker intended, says Shari Allen, ACS CCP, ACS CCSE. And cheese educator. A cheese educator? Oh my god. We're in the future. Is that a major you can take in college, you think? That'd be hype. Cheese tearless would go hard. We've talked about that. Welcome, Austin. The test is rigorous. One part of the exam entails identifying 10 vials of milk on scent alone. It's all about aroma, explains Evan Brown, ACS, CCP, ACS, CCSE. Do you think they write this down? Like when they're just signing papers or something, when you put your name and title? Do you think they have the chutzpah to write down all of these? Knowing that no one's going to check? Oh, appreciate the big 50, Trevor. Yeah, I'm going to play the new Modern Warfare for the sake of the, mo the moist meter. I'm not, like, super excited about it. I don't have a ton of faith, but I know a lot of people are excited, and I'll try. What could be so difficult about a cheese test? For one, a grading sheet might have 60 possible descriptors, and a cheese might only seem to need one or two to describe flaws or attributes. Others might register on over a dozen descriptor scales. And to top it all off, it was like a multiple choice test with 60 choices for each question and each choice needing an intensity score between 1 and 5 and no guidance about how many right answers there could be. This picture goes hard. I I've got to try this. I'm not like a huge cheese guy or anything, but I feel like I could do pretty well. Hey, that's awesome, Titan. I'm excited then. Hope you enjoy it. it. Should be a lot of fun. And yeah, are you talking about the buoys with like saws in them or whatever? Thanks, Minto.
This looks fun. All right, that'll be fun content. I'm going to give that a whirl. Do you just, like, sign up on the American Cheese Society website? Imagine I actually pass, though, and I become one of the, like, the very few cheese sommeliers. Actually, it could be fun just to try and be a sommelier in something. I'll take the wine one, too, even though I don't like wine and have only had wine a handful of times because I fucking hate it. Thanks, Jake. And Fonz. This was an interesting little rabbit hole. Thanks to the guy who let me know about Parmi Parmi Parmigiano Reggiano microchipping their cheese. What an eye opener. To think a mere 20 minutes ago I was ignorant to how deep and serious the world of cheese was. It's like the John Wick universe but for cheese. Become a water sommelier? That one I think I could nail. Thanks, Nigel. Welcome, Nick. Welcome, Jock. Give you an anime to watch? Uh, catch up on Jujutsu Kaisen, I guess. Have you heard about the... The Oreo what? I didn't even get to finish reading that. What did you say? Valheim's a great game. I haven't played it in a while, but I still think it's a great game. Welcome, Bucket. Have you heard about the thousands of people in New Jersey losing power because a bird dropped a fish on a transformer? Sounds like something that would happen in Florida. We lose power anytime it rains or the wind blows too hard. Entire New Jersey town without power after bizarre animal falls from the sky and destroys a transformer. Entire, yep. Do they have a video of it? <laughs> Please speculate the fish fell onto a transformer knocking the power out. They got that up there like a mugshot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Step away from the criminal. This man just ruined Gotham. There's a large area of Lower Sawyerville without power. And it's reporting... Oh my god, they're putting emojis in here. Incident occurred Saturday. And they speculate that a bird of prey caught a fish and dropped it on a transformer causing damage. Hopefully they catch the bird too, so this was a hit and run situation. Do we get their license plate? They could still be at large. Man, I'd be so fucking mad too, if my, I lost power because a bird dropped a fish on the transformer. Damn. Unlucky. Well, thank you, Matthew. And yeah, I have to try some Parmigiano Reggiano, I guess. And I, like I said, I'll probably start a solo Baldur's Gate campaign at some point. Just don't know when. Thanks, Loaf. Welcome aboard, Chronic. 
make AI J slot. Is there not already an AI J slot? I thought there was already a complete AI of J slot. Hey, Wendy Goon, hope you're doing well. This is a, a criminal that just took out the entire power grid to a New Jersey town. A menace. Have you heard about taxidermy ducks being turned into drones? These are some fucking awesome stories. Man, YouTube chat's got the wildest stories. Big W. That sounds awesome. What? Scientists are making drones from taxidermy ducks. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> you can't trust anything. I swear to God, the surveillance never stops. You think one minute you're looking at a nice bird in the sky? Nope, that's Big Brother keeping its eye on you. Can't even bird watch in peace. Birds aren't real. True. Lending more and more credibility to that. Well, that was wholesome. Well, thank you for that, love. I did play Observer a while back. Thanks, Michael. I haven't played Commander yet. I've still been learning the basics of magic, so I've been playing MTGA. Taxidermy birds are taking flight once again, attached to flapping wing drones. The unusual project led by researchers at the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology is meant to create a device that can help study bird flight and monitor wildlife in a relatively non-invasive way. Is this good enough to fool birds? This thing's just going to get bullied. Instead of using artificial materials for building drones, we can use the dead birds and re-engineer them as a drone. Well. They, you know what? There actually is a, a case that proves that this can work. You guys remember this? Uh, I think it was a robot gorilla. Yeah. This actually does work in the wild. The BBC a while ago did something called Spy in the Wild, where they put recording equipment in <laughs> little robot animals, and the animals responded very positively to it. With the robot gorilla in particular, there was a really nice family of gorillas that was like, damn, this little guy's fucked up. We'll take care of you, bud. So they like took care of the little robot. That's an Ewok. Yeah, no, it's a goofy little creature. But it worked. The animals did respond positively. So actually, this taxidermy bird drone shit is kind of big brain. And thank you, Olivia. Hi, Akiba. And thanks, Joe. That's adorable. It actually is super fucking cute. That whole series they did, Spy in the Wild, I highly recommend. It's super interesting, and it's really cute. Like, actually cute. Every animal responded positively for the most part, except for one of them. I can't remember who, but one of the robot spies got pissed on. The animals immediately outcasted and exiled it for being different. But most of them were highly successful. Oh my god, that's right, the fucking hippo. The hippo was so cute. <laughs> this was such a good series they did for a little while. I wish they'd bring it back. I'm not Boris, but I can't prove it. Did you see that Ryan Reynolds pur or purchased minority owner shares in Alpine F1 team? Seems like he's really serious in being a shareholder in pro sports teams. Didn't see that, but I really admire all of Ryan, Ren Ryan Reynolds' ventures, like with Wrexham and all that. If you're watching, Ryan Reynolds, Moist Esports would love to have you on board, brother. 
Look up Project Ping. Look up Project Pigeon. Bird flown bombs. Project Pigeon, huh? Project Pigeon. During World War II, an American behaviorist, B. F. Skinner, attempted to develop a pigeon-controlled guided bomb. This is so much less wholesome than just a goofy little robot gorilla looking at other gorillas. Or a cute little tortoise. This man was using it for a bomb. It was using the U.S. Navy's radar-guided bat glide bomb. Burdenheimer. Yeah, I guess so. A pretty creative idea, I guess. No, absolutely not, Undead Knight. It's not like it would be able to go deep enough. Welcome, Velociraptor. Yeah, I made a whole thing on the Island Boys incest shit. New score streak in Modern Warfare 3 pigeon bombing. That would go very hard. Yeah, I'm familiar, Cade. I've worked with animals since 1990. Animals are cool. Hey, agreed. And I think that is a great line of work. Keep up the good shit. That was awesome. Thanks, Eli. And no, uh, I can't say I have pig, but that's super sweet. I'm familiar with Casual Geographic. Mm -hmm. I know the channel. Have you seen the public freakout where a naked woman walks into a bakery and starts rubbing cake all over herself? It's not ringing any bells. I don't think so. I saw a recent freakout where a naked woman walked into a store and took a shit and left. That was kind of hype, I guess. Let me see. Astonishing moment. Woman strips off and goes on a five-minute rampage, destroying a superstore and smearing cake across her body. Wow. Cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Definitely can't show this on stream, but Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> it's not just cake. She is she is really lubricating with pretty much anything she can find in the frozen food section. Oh my god. Awesome. Cool. Oh, appreciate the big 50, Yuri. What about the one experiment with a mirror where they had wild animals look into the mirror and documented their reactions? That's a classic. Yeah, that one's great. Thanks again, Olivia. And I'll play Payday 3 when it comes out. I'm not playing the playtest. Thanks, Caleb. I feel so bad for the employees, man. I've said this a million times. I'll say it a million more, I'm sure. I will always say that some of the biggest heroes in society are the ones that work in the customer service industry. It is the most thankless, most miserable, most brutal job ever. It is heartbreaking. God bless the workers here, man, because this is a this is a mess. I fast forwarded to the end. It's not just the frozen foods she lotions her body with. It's literally everything in the goddamn store. What a disaster. Thanks, Nate, and welcome aboard, Lancer and Napoleo. Am I going to drop a moist meter on Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2? Of course I will. Absolutely. 
Where was security? I don't know, dude. Local grocers usually have security. Mine don't. Also, this is another thing I've said. I feel like a really effective thing as a deterrent of, I guess, combat would be getting naked. No one wants to fight a naked person. It's uncomfortable. It's yucky. You know that scene in Hey Arnold where he's about to get bullied? So in order to counter the bullying because he doesn't want to get his ass beat, he goes, don't hit me, I'll hit me, I'm crazy. So he plays a song and he's like, I'm crazy. And it works because then he doesn't get bullied because the bully gets afraid. I feel like that would legitimately work in real life if you're like about to fight, about to throw down, get pugilistic. If you got naked, it'd probably end it on the spot. No one's fighting the naked person. Thanks, Nicholas. Ace Hardware, I bet you've had some weird people come in. I went to Ace Hardware not too long ago. We, we saw some characters doing some wacky stuff. Thanks, Greasy. I'm sorry to hear that, Zilk. Hopefully everything's okay. I'm wishing you the best. Did you hear about the 1982 love letter Obama sent saying he made love to men daily but in his imagination and he said it to get women? Sigma tactics. No, but that is a big brain scheme. Oh, really appreciate it, Yuri. What's your favorite experiment? Like, ever? My favorite experiment ever? I mean, there's easy answers to that. Probably when they first started experimenting with, like, penicillin and developing, like, the first antibiotics. Like, that was super beneficial to everybody. But if you're talking about, like, my personal favorite experiment I've ever done. When I was a kid, there was, like, a little lake behind the school and the teacher wanted us to collect lake water. I don't remember why. So in order to do that, she gave us a little kayak to kayak out and get lake water in the middle of just this fucking podunk, yucky, probably radioactive lake. And we did, and I thought it was really cool. Thanks for the big, the big drop there, Rain. Appreciate it. We were just talking about her, the nurse that killed all those babies. I mentioned that a little bit ago. I saw. Did you drink the lake water? No, of course not. It's like drinking cyanide. That lake was fucked up. <clears throat> God damn, Yuri. Thank you for the generosity. Just ate seven grams of Hillbilly County shrooms. For the love of God, don't use big words. You're scaring me. <laughs> Godspeed, brother. H hang on tight to, to your carpet right there so you don't fall off the earth. But I'm going to keep using big words. Brace for impact. I'm about to drop a, a nutty one on you I haven't used in a while. Bloviating. Dude just fucking freaked out in his chair. Went wild. Yeah, I'm familiar with that, Breezy. I, f I don't remember if I watched a documentary, but I saw something on it. That is wild, Liam. Bloviating is a great word. I learned it from Lud. I think that is just a fantastic word. You know what? I was, I was thinking about this last night. You know what words really just exited our vernacular? Is douchebag. The meta for insults is so volatile that oftentimes some just get phased out entirely. No one's calling each other douchebags anymore. I don't see anyone use that.
Holy shit. Well, stay safe out there, Jack. God damn. Oh, I have no doubt, Pierce. Sorry to hear you got some wacky people visiting. It's still common in Jersey, I'll tell you that. Douchebag? I don't know, maybe it's just not common down here anymore. Or I guess on Twitter. I just never hear anyone say douchebag anymore. Plus the whole idea of douchebags have been phased out entirely. Like, it's no longer a thing. Like, does anyone actually use that as a product? Or really, how many of you even knew about douchebags, like, the actual product? Because it was meant for, like, sanitization of the vagina or something. Even I'm starting to get foggy on what it actually was. They're enema bags or vaginal uh, hygiene products. They give you yeast infections. That was a big controversy. I actually remember that. There was some big report that came out that said, like, using douchebags or something can actually be bad for you. And I guess they just never recovered that image. Yeah, even looking it up, that's something that comes up pretty quickly. What's your favorite WD What's your favorite WWE moment ever? My favorite WD moment might actually be when Rob Van Dam. No, actually, my favorite WWE moment is actually probably the grocery store fight. I still remember that one fondly. But I was a big Rob Van Dam fan. Kane's my favorite wrestler of all time, though. Hopefully not Bambi, that's horrifying. And maybe Jay. Like I said, I might do Texas Chainsaw Massacre in a bit, but I've been enjoying shooting the shit and learning about some wacky stories. Oh, that's a really old one. Lamo, yeah. That one's like classic though. Back in Rocket Power. Never heard of that Nicholas now. What is it? Did you know that 85% of all living animals are arthropods? Of course I didn't know that, man. Obviously not. <laughs> it's very cool though. Yeah, we talked about the UFO abducting MH370. We went through that whole conspiracy in depth already. Been there. Very wacky. Yeah, a long time ago it did cause. I always thought that Batista versus Undertaker rivalry was extremely underrated. Well, it definitely wasn't underrated, I don't think. Maybe just not as revered as you would think. I mean, have they ever heard of the failed 90s show called Pachinski? The trailer, an entire 30-minute pilot are on YouTube. No, I can't say I heard of it. Did you see the Orlando Museum that got caught with a fake Boskeet painting? I don't know the artist, but I am curious what the painting looked like.
Orlando Museum of Art files lawsuit over fake Jean-Michel Basquiat paintings. Hmm. They were all fake? Oma spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and unwittingly staked its reputation on exhibiting the now admittedly fake paintings. Consequently, cleaning up the aftermath created by the defendants has cost Oma even more. Oma was placed on probation by the American Alliance of Museums and its 99-year legacy was shattered. Oma is entitled, entitled to legal redress for, their, for these harms. The American Alliance of Museums, huh? No, nothing too wild, Sass. It's pronounced basquit. Oh, okay. I went to the Dali Museum recently, actually. Not that that's at all relevant to this story. But worth mentioning, I checked it out. I had a whole class on Salvador Dali once. Very interesting guy. Have you heard about the Rammstein situation? It's a big discussion over here in Germany. What's going on with Rammstein? And did I hear about the potential discovery of the demon particle? No. What happened with Rammstein? Oh, jinkies. That's not good. German police investigation investigate Rammstein singer over sexual assault accusations oof god damn that is not good universal music has suspended promoting all of Rammstein's music in the wake of the investigation of vocalist Till Lindman God damn. No, I didn't hear about this at all. Preliminary proceedings have been initiated against Till on allegations relating to sexual offenses and the distribution of narcotics. Christ. Well, that's no good. That sucks. Who's your favorite band of all time? Probably Deftones. It's a dude that claims to have his own country in the United States. It's definitely worth a look up. What was it? Molossia? Thanks, Dean. Hey, happy birthday. Ski. Then I played every Bioshock. I really like Bioshock. Even Infinite, I liked. I'm definitely not watching Spider-Man Lotus. That shit looks boring. Even setting aside all of the awful shit that came out about it beforehand, the movie itself just looks fucking boring. What's your favorite Deftones song? Change. Have you heard about the possible alien nuclear war on Mars? There's research with serious evidence about it from NASA, I think. All right, I'll check. I'll take a peek. I see a single Amazon book called Death on Mars: The Discovery of a Planetary Nuclear Massacre. There's a $20 paperback on Amazon. I don't see anything from NASA. Oh, I see a dot. Wait. I see a TV episode called Did Aliens Nuke Mars? And now that's all I've seen about it.
did this guy advertise his own book? <laughs> That'd be big brain if it was. I mean, the author seems reputable, like it's a real author. Well, this is also the only book they've ever written. Have you heard about the Chicago Home Depot scam for five million dollars? Like five or like ten employees got fired. Let me see. Let me look up Malasia first. The Republic of Malasia is a micronation claiming sovereignty over eleven point three acres of land near Dayton, Nevada. The Micronation has not received recognition from any of the member states of the United Nations. It was founded by Kevin Baugh. He continues to pay property tax on the land to Story County, although he calls it foreign aid. He has stated, We all want to think we have our own country, but you know the United States is a lot bigger. Huh. Okay, I guess. The Republic of Malasia claims to be at war with the former state of East Germany, alleging that they are responsible for military drills performed by Kevin Baugh while stationed with the United States military in West Germany, and therefore also responsible for the resulting diagnosis of sleep deprivation. Oh my god, they're locked in a war right now? Hey, Godspeed, Malasia. No, I've not heard of that, Israel. I don't know that movie. That sounds awful, Brother Bread, Brother Bread Godspeed. It's an actual research paper. Which won the nuclear war on Mars? Have you heard about Dr. John Reed who claims he came across an alien that vaporized his dog? Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? No. These are some wacky fucking stories. Hope they gain sovereignty. Hey, I don't know anything about Kevin Baugh, but this is a, a interesting idea, so Godspeed. Oh, wait. In 2010, the Republic of Malasia was featured in a feature-length special by Channel Awesome called kick Asia. Interesting. The capital is Boston. Oh, that's so clever. <laughs> that's so cute because his name's Kevin Baugh. The president's Kevin Baugh. The first lady is Adrienne Baugh. Time zone is, the time zone is the Malaysian standard time. Oh man, it looks like they've had quite a turbulent past. They started as the Grand Republic of Voldstein, and then finally the Kingdom of Malasia was proclaimed, but then a communist government must have came in and overthrown with like a coup, and then the First Rep Republic of Malasia was established, no doubt led by Kevin Baugh. But then it became a dictatorship. And now we're in the era of the Second Republic. Goodness gracious. Oh, gotcha split. Okay, so that's a little different than what I thought. Hey, good for Kevin. He's letting it rip. He said, if you can dream it, you can build it. Doing well, H2O. And yes, I did receive the ODS plaque. We have it at the warehouse.
Watch Kick Asia. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out. I've talked about the McKamey Manor quite a few times. I'm very familiar, and I'm very familiar with the recent drama with McKamey Manor as well. What is your experience with phosphorus nitro... nitroquilicide? I, I don't know it. I don't have any experiences to report on it, unless it's being pumped into the tap water or something. If you were to go to other venues, I'm not sure. It, Madison Square Garden would be a crazy venue. I know the Killer Bean game's coming out at some point pretty soon. I'll play it when it comes out. Am I going to watch Asuka? I don't know why I say it like that. It's pronounced Ahsoka, right? Ahsoka Tano. I'm so over Star Wars. I don't think so. They released some footage, though. I did see that on Twitter. I don't know why they wouldn't just animate it, to be honest. I think it'd go much harder, but I did see some of the clips. I'm just really over Star Wars. Yeah, like I said, I might check out Kikassia. In... I don't know. He's he's getting wacky though. He's been doing some wacky shit. What's your favorite scary movie and why? Appreciate the big drop. Hereditary. It's like the only unique modern horror movie. Like fully unique modern horror movie until the last 10 minutes where it really sucks ass. But up until then it's fucking great. Appreciate it atrocious. Thank you for that. Have you seen the China World Robot Competition? The 2023 World Robot Conference started in China. This? This looks hype. Kind of worthless, though. I don't think we'll ever get to a point in our evolutionary progression where we're going to want human looking robots like this right i feel like why not just have robot looking drones because then at this point you're going to start to feel bad they'll be able to like express some express emotions and shit that just doesn't help anyone just give us fucking soulless looking robots thanks jose But what about fucking them? You need Jesus. But yeah, obviously that's going to be a huge market. I mean, for sex bots, whatever, you can make them look superhuman. Give them five tits. I, I really don't care. I'm just saying, like, in general, I don't think there's any real benefit to just having human-looking robots. You could just make drones they, that look like just drones. Yeah, the new album's coming out in about a month or so. It's getting mixed right now. The guy mixing our new our new EP is the same guy who mixes for like Breaking Benjamin and everything. He's very, very talented. So we just got to get the music videos filmed and then the EP will be out in like a month or so. You see the guy who ate a $120,000 banana at an art museum? Of course, that's old. That's really old. That was all the way back in May. That's ancient history on the internet.
Heard about the Burger King employee who got 400k from GoFundMe and didn't miss work for 27 years? Holy shit. No, good for them though, that's fantastic. And thanks, Chris. Like I said, solo Baldur's Gate campaign at some point, but no dark and darker tonight, I don't think. Any tips on hurricanes since you're a seasoned veteran? I'm in California. It's not like I go out there with, like, battle gear or anything, man. It's usually just sit and wait. And then that's it. Good luck, though. Hopefully it's not a bad hurricane. Thanks, FBI. What do you think about AI actors doing stuff like commercials now? No shot they're using AI actors for commercials yet. And maybe Danny, but we're pretty nasty on the court. Unless you're talking about scam ads for AI voices. Because those, those have been around for a little bit now. So I know they have this. Where they have like Joe Rogan advertising testosterone boosters and all that on TikTok. Or the ones that mimic loved ones' voices. Jesus. I didn't even know about this one. What? Scammers use AI to mimic voices of loved ones in distress. Holy shit. Believable. Scam artists are now using the technology to trick their victims and clone voices, even the voices of friends and family. Carter Evans takes a look at this frightening that is new trend. Nefarious. What you're about to hear is something I never said. Hey, this is Carter. I need your credit card number right now. <laughs> I mean, that really sounded like me. <laughs> it is you. It's cloned you. It's AI Carter. Pete Nicoletti is a cybersecurity expert at Checkpoint Technology. Unironically, I bet my dumbass would fall for that. If I got a call from my mom, she's like, Charlie, credit card now. Need it. I'd be like, I oh, one second, mom. 100%. <laughs> like, you probably wouldn't even need to be sophisticated with it. But you'd also need the number, too, so they'd have to spoof the, the, the number. He used common software to recreate my voice from old news reports he found. Ten minutes of it learning your voice, I can make it say anything. To test it out, we call my mother. Hey, I'm about to do an interview, but I have a quick question. The words on the screen are played in my voice. <laughs> I need you to text me your driver's license number as soon as you can. Americans lost nearly $9 billion to fraud last year alone. Up Not the, the most sophisticated AI model there. There's no real emotion. Too robotic. His mother's not buying it, I'm sure. She said, no, this is an AI. I made a whole video on that, Tanto. I really think the way power slaps being handled is very suboptimal. I think it's pretty rough. 150% in just two years. Mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me, help me. Jennifer DeStefano oh, recently told crazy. U.S. Senators about a terrifying phone call she got from scammers using the voice of her 15-year-old daughter. And this man gets on, very aggressive. Listen, here I have your daughter. And then that's when I went into panic mode. Holy but her daughter shit, that was is safe evil. In bed. The call was an increasingly popular AI scam targeting people with the computer-generated voices of their loved ones. This man was on the damn. phone. God damn. He said you're going to... I didn't even consider that as a possibility for scammers. I thought... When I was talking about AI scamming, I thought it was just going to be the commercials like with Joe Rogan, like I mentioned. This is next level. It's always so baffling how creative scammers get. Yeah, I'm very familiar, Seahorse. I was talking about that earlier. Which should actually be illegal. Man, it is illegal. <laughs> it, it is scamming is illegal it's not like there's all of a sudden a legal loophole because they're using ai voices it's still illegal this is just super evil especially if you're targeting older people that are absolutely not going to know anything about ai have i heard about pink floyd's reconstruction of have i heard about the reconstruction of pink floyd's brick in the wall through brain waves yes i did And I have not seen that video, Teeter. They're probably talking about the AI in general. What, like, voice cloning stuff? 
being illegal? Yeah, that's not illegal, but the scamming is. The jet ski, the jet ski scene in the Meg does so crazy. I heard our daughter on the phone. Like, it was unmistakably her. Younger people experience fraud and fraud losses more often than older people. But it's that older adult who has so much to lose. Even my own mother fell for the fake voice. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel terrible about it. We just scammed my mom. <laughs> Did you just get a call for me? Asking for my driver's license number? Yes. That was an AI-generated voice. Oh, God. Carter, that's scary. Is this the real you now? I this... <laughs> oh, boy. Now his mom's not going to believe anything. Sad. The trust is ruined. Oh, they're great lo-fi. Lo Fantastic. It's called Eleven Labs. Well, yeah, everyone knows what it is. Eleven Labs is the biggest one right now. <clears throat> no way, no way someone younger than 30 will believe that. Yes, they will. You would fall for it, too. It's getting really convincing. The only thing that they'd need to do for the under 30 crowd is somehow spoof the number as well. And you'd immediately fucking fall for that shit. And man, you don't even have to do that. I told this story. When I was 22, I think I was 22. Either 21 or 22. I got a call from some random number. And it was like, listen, I've got your mom, Charlie. She just hit my brother with her car. And my brother's not doing so well. So I've got your mom here right now. And I need you to come down here. We can handle this like men. You need to bring some money, or I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to hurt her. <laughs> I fucking panicked. I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Where? Where, where is she?" He's like, "I'm at the gas station." He gave me an address. I was like, "Okay, okay. How much?" I was panicked. Like when when you get like an alarming call like that, all sense of rational thinking goes out the window. And he's like, "If you hang up right now, she's gonna get it." I was like, "Okay, I won't hang up." Jesus Christ! I, uh, so I stayed on the line for a while. I kept stalling because it still did seem weird. Eventually, I just said, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm calling mom. I got to know. I got to know for sure. So I hung up. Turns out all make believe. I probably would have went there and got my kidney stolen. I'd be like, put her on. It's just not so, I don't know, when you just enter that, like, panic response, it's just the worst thing that can happen. When you're in that panic mode, you can't think. I don't know how many of you have ever been in a situation where you have that sense activate. You literally cannot think straight. Did you give them the money? What? No, man. Of course I didn't go there. I'm still alive. <laughs> no. Like I said, I eventually just rolled the dice. I hung up and called my mom. At that point, I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's worth risking. Your game dev, what should you make? And it'll make a cool Soulsborne game. Could you have put him on hold? I only had one phone. When's the next basketball video? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. Like I said, eventually I want to start doing like basketball streams and stuff and doing more with like creators 5v5 I think would be really fun. So, play it by ear. Did you have Swamp Ass? 
Like, in general, in my life? Yeah. I've told stories about swamp ass many times. I used to have swamp ass real bad. I tried shaving my ass and everything. But that just led to, like, greased, soggy cheeks. Like, it, it's just one of those things that eventually you outgrow your swamp ass. How many children will be affected by an AI Mr. Beast voice clone and maybe even AI video generator? Oh, that's going to be huge for scammers, yeah. Mr. Beast will be a big target for that, no doubt. And I did see that, Jacob, yeah. I watched that teaser. Hey, I'm taking a girl out on a first date tomorrow. You have any support? You have any king support advice? The only advice I ever give is don't be weird. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Wish you the best of luck with it, champ. I'm not sure, Raphael. Hasn't shown it in a while. What's your favorite album of all time? Hybrid Theory. And I'll, of course, play Elden Ring DLC when it comes out. Oh, sweet. Thanks, ass crack. Welcome, Bradley. And Tyler. Would I ever try syrup? Is there a difference between that and syrup? It's like the same shit, right? Unless it's like a brand. <clears throat> Look up the DJ Khaled Rick Ross almond milk. No way DJ Khaled has his own brand of almond milk. I didn't know. Oh, this is teaching him how to... Wait, what? Rick Ross tells DJ Khaled he's afraid to drink almond milk. Neither of them know how it's actually made. It was on a debate. Where they went head-to-head -to, -head to debate what is the greatest snack. That sounds about right for DJ Khaled. <laughs> that, that sounds about right. I haven't seen that debate. That's like a rare DJ Khaled piece of content that I don't know about. I'm definitely not... I don't have Swamp Ass much anymore. My favorite Souls like is either Bloodborne or Elden Ring. Well, my favorite Souls genre game. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it. Did you see the naked guy who kidnapped a robot police dog? Naked Texas man not scared of robot police dog. Naked man at the center of a SWAT standoff is now in custody after taking the HPD robot inside of a hotel room. Oh man, he, he fucking yanks that baby in there. Jesus. Wait, there's like... <laughs> I don't know if I can show this because he's naked. In fact, I know I can't show this because he's naked. But man, that's like a scene out of a horror movie. He rips open the door and then just starts yanking in the dog. Well, it's not a real dog. The the robot dog. The Boston Dynamics one. It just went over there to negotiate, too. It got far more than its programming ever designated was possible. I didn't know robot dogs are so common. We use the robot dog for almost all of our scenes now. Technology allows us to interact with individuals without putting us at risk or them at risk. Yeah, but what about the robot dog, man? That thing got teabagged. He was on meth, probably? Yeah, probably. That's the plan, Fusion. Did 
you hear about what Tim Tebow's former college teammates did to test his virginity? Tim Tebow's Florida team... Oh my god, I hate that it makes me take off ad block. Tim Tebow's teammate at Florida would chase him around with photos of naked women to test his virginity. What an interesting plan. In an upcoming Netflix documentary, Untold Swamp Kings, which explores the 2000s era Florida Gators and head coach Urban Meyer's coaching style, Tebow's former teammates recall they went to extreme lengths to test his virginity. What would this do? How does that test his virginity? I just wanted to see if he was real. So I, I would like, you know, have a picture, a nude picture on my phone or something and show it to him just to see how he'd react. How would that prove that he's a virgin? If one of my friends did that, I'd be like, hey, this, why are you doing this? I'd be like, why, why are you showing me this? Oh, God damn, Lee. Thank you for that, Jesus. Give it a huge drop. He was like, come on, man. Like, really? Get a man uncomfortable. And I was like, oh, he's serious. What? <laughs> what? What? How does that prove he's a virgin? What What do you mean? Do I have a favorite NBA player of all time? Allen Iverson. AI is the greatest, baby. Oh, I don't even know, to be honest with you, sis. You need some goofy shit. Allen Iverson fucking changed the game of basketball. Anyone knows that. Allen Iverson, he did it different. He was actually built different. Thanks, Raz. I just didn't get around to finishing Sleeping Dogs on stream, that's all. So did Kareem. Yeah, true. But I mean, AI was so fucking hype. I don't know. I love AI. Did you hear Post Malone about the One Ring card? Yeah, I talked about that. I saw. And yes, I will, unknown. And I'm going to be playing Starfield when it comes out, for sure. We were already talking about the aliens in Peru earlier. They're not, they're not real. There's no aliens attacking Peru. It's not happening. It's the Jetpack Mafia. It's it's more likely to be Jetpack Miners than fucking aliens. Did you see the high-res studios trying to get their VAs to sign over their voices? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't read the actual article, though. I can't imagine it's that evil. Like, just openly evil. You're full of shit. Smite Studio walks back contract that would let it use AI to replicate dead voice actors. Hi-Res Studio takes heat for a clause in its contract that says it can make AI clones of your voice if you die. <laughs> it wasn't just that, though. It was kind of vague where it said it can also just make and use AI of your voice even if you just don't want to do your lines or are unable to do your lines for some other reason. But there's no way it's just that blatantly 
awful. Thanks, Luke. Only vaguely, Bradley. I know of it. Not super knowledgeable on that project, though. Have you seen the video where a lady calls 911 on her boyfriend to scare him? Yeah, I watched it. And then she starts screeching like a banshee. Have you heard of blue spirulina algae? Yeah, I get those bowls from uh, uh, an acai place all the time. Spirulina actually tastes really good. I wasn't making fun of the, the gators. I was just saying I don't understand how showing Tim Tivo pictures of naked women tests his virginity. That's not making fun of the gators as a whole. I've got nothing against them. It's just a real interesting scheme. You play a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game? No, not yet. I'll do it now. It's getting late, so might as well start it now before it gets too late. Yeah, let me download it real quick. She's cooking. <clears throat> Haven't seen Maiden Abyss. Tiana watched it though. So I saw little bits and pieces of it. What do I think Speed should do in his situation? There's really nothing he can do except just move forward. Like, what he's, what's he supposed to do? Dwell on his meat being released to the world to see? I don't know. All he can do is just keep going forward. No, sweet. Thanks, Lingorthan. I saw Gundam Evolution shutting down, unfortunate. I haven't played in a while, though, but it was really fun. I have not seen that KT Rolster esports drama. The only esports drama I've seen recently is G1, where they weren't paying anybody. Or paying out tournaments or anything. Welcome, Curious. Do you see the fury, the furry brawl on the beach? Man attacked by furry at Huntington Beach meetup. Wild video sh- oh my god. Man was beaten with a megaphone at a beach by a furry. Oh! Jiminy, Christmas, wait, what happened? All we want, mate, you leave! You can let go of it, right? Time, you fucking shit! Damn, he's really going at it. Oh, boy. Jeepers. I feel like going to a beach in a furry costume's gotta be miserable. It'll be so hot. You fucking shit! Damn.
What started this? The man who took the beating started screaming after the brawl was over. This is what furries do to you. What? <laughs> Beat you with a megaphone? On the beach? I wonder what started it. It had to have been like this guy insulting them and then this guy was getting extremely upset about it and then it led to like a big throwdown. But it says in the article that no one knows what led up to it. Have you seen the Planet Mountain Dew AI? No. Right, let's play some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, thanks, Quality and Dolores. Speculation is because of the guy filming. Yeah, but they said they don't have any con confirmation on what actually started it. It was just a couple people speculated the guy filming instigated. Which I wouldn't be surprised by. Wow, that was bright. Appreciate April, that, Jay Corn, and no, I've not heard of that. I need to turn Tragedy this portalist window. Tragedy and have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores was seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago, but with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister Ana Flores and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's haven't disappearance done Desert Treasure 2 yet. would pale in comparison but I will. to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That just reminded me of the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that came out last year. Man, that movie was fucking unbelievably terrible. But like, good bad. Like, silly fun bad. Oh, it is windowed full screen. There we go. Alright. Welcome aboard, Amaryllis. Go through the tutorial. I can't imagine it's that complicated of a game. Isn't it supposed to be like Dead by Daylight? Fine. You're part of the family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, or guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, Is the tutorial just a video? I don't actually pump. play it. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Nice. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map <clears throat> by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The stronger he is, okay. the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Adrenochrome. Remember, Grandpa yeah, I guess is so. the best killer that ever was. 
Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and oh, listen awesome. for Thank noise. You, Alex. Pay attention to and your yeah, surroundings. Of Tears of the Keep your eyes and ears Thanks, open. Jackson. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Welcome, Scott. Careful, though. Some abilities have limited quantities, while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes or catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best, so use your fellow family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds and you get them within range... Seems easy him. enough. This and is very similar again. to Dead by Daylight. And remember... If you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry and needs his strength in order to help you. Oh, don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family, or we lose Dead by as daylight, a but worse. Is the game not received well? I haven't really seen anything on the game, so I don't know. Okay, I'll just play as the family. I don't feel like going through another tutorial. You're part of the family. Oh my god, now. I could have just done it's this. It's up to you to secure. You hear about Google Play Store having the ability to play mobile games on PC? The ads are goofy. News to me. I use Redkin shampoo. Is this game dead on release or something? Why is it taking me four minutes to find a game? Is this not popular? Well, thanks for a long time of watching, Caden. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll just hang out, I guess. The game just came out today, right? I, I I imagine it's pretty popular. Did you ever play Friday the 13th? That's the game that didn't work on release, right? My friends and I tried to play it, but the game legitimately wouldn't work. So we never went back to it when they eventually fixed it. There we are. I'll be... Pero yo quiero usar el personaje que tenía hoy, boludo. ¿Por qué me lo cambia? I'll be hitchhiker. Oh. I'll be cook. Oh, actually, no. I'll be I'll be Leatherface, since no one else did. Hay un puto de PlayStation jugando, boludo. Ready. Happy birthday, Caden. Well, thanks, Zachary. Welcome. I thought it was a little underwhelming. Uh, the final boss fight was fun, but like the final like scripted fight of Tears of the Kingdom was a little, a little underwhelming, but still very pretty. I, st I still think Tears of the Kingdom is a masterpiece. Thanks, subs. Do I think games will ever be going down in price instead of them all being 60 to 70? Are you insane? Games going down in price? What, what kind of fantasy world are you living in where that's even like a thought that crossed your mind? No shot, it's only gonna get more expensive. And thank you, Glizzy. I'm not gonna be mean to your friend, I don't know your friend.
I really hope this doesn't remake if we don't find a seventh. Thanks, Fallen. And Gabriel. Man, this is going really well so far. Feeling good. Just start at 3v3. Just start at 3v3. Don't remake. Don't remake. Come on, the gang's all here. We got small, small tentacles. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Huge. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful right. that the expanded search... So all I need to do is just make sure they don't leave and I feed Grandpa some blood. Family and friends are urging anyone with information it even gives me a little brief tutorial here in the intro. Forward. The man believed to be responsible for <laughs> Oh, they even have meat hooks! <laughs> it's just like Dead by Daylight. All right. Oh, I'm looking for players in there. I thought I was about to like loot it or something. Get like a bag of ice. my ability do oh oh I see one get back here coward grandpa's got a thirst that needs a quinchin you son of a bitch how do I Okay, someone just woke up Grandpa, thanks. Excellent timing. So it looks like they went outside, so... Where is Grandpa? Is there like a mini-map? Also, what does revving my chainsaw do for me? Why do I bother? So the Grandpa UAV doesn't last that long, but where is he? I want to feed him. Oh, Jesus! Oh, she's part of the family. Sorry. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I find out that this is a hot mic and it's not push to talk. got lucky. Destroy it. I just need to find Grandpa. I have blood for him. I'm about to get a kill too because I saw her. One more blood. 
What game is this? Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that's the family. More blood. Oh, I see you! That didn't hit. What in tarnation? Oh, I, there's two of them! Ah. Oh, wait, that's my friend! Ah. Damn it! Oh, I did hit him. I actually got one hit on him. Come here! Two! I'm collecting more blood! How many hits does it take? Gotcha! Hey, not bad. And then I saw one of the other ones go this way. Wait, I'm kind of a prodigy at this. I'm popping off. Man, fuck feeding grandpa. I'll do it all myself. I see you. Thrust! Okay, I got two hits in on him. Oh, there's Grandpa! I lost him. Where'd he go? Why does he have, like, cloaking technology? Where, where is he? There's got to be an easier way of finding this old asshole. He's upstairs and above. Oh! There. <laughs> there he is. How do I feed you? Why can't I feed him? Okay, whatever. You have to stop the chainsaw? Oh, because you have to lock the door downstairs. Okay. Grandpa only feeds when the doors are locked. Oh, you coward! You thought you could sneak up on me and Grandpa? Not today! Damn, I'm good at this game. That was small tentacles, too. He's like top 10 on the leaderboard. My team sucks, though. I'm doing all the, all the heavy lifting here. Grandpa, I have literally killed two people for you. Take my blood. Thank you. Oh, that's so big. Small tentacles rage quit. Coward. with a big 20 glizzy. I don't want to call him a goober. I don't know him. I'm sure he's not a goober. Alright, so there's only two victims left. So it seems like Grandpa is mainly just a UAV. I don't know if he does too much else for me. This game needs a proximity chat. Is 
This game is free, right? Mm. Pal, I got some bad news for you. Let's go downstairs again. My team fucking sucks, I'll tell you that right now. I am solo carrying. I bet there's someone in here. Damn, imagine though, that would be a crazy read. They must not be down here. That'd have them flailing in panic for sure. How big is the map here? Or am I just going in circles like an idiot? Ah, oh, I see you, coward! You little bitch! Oh, nope. Teammate. That's... That's a victim though, right? Over by Grandpa? Get away from him! Nope, that's a family member as well. That's a victim though. Look at my pathing, I'm so smart. Oh, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. What is happening? Oh, we can't go through. Oh. Alright, I am really cruising right now. I'm doing everything. Blood for Grandpappy. <laughs> Victim detection activate, that's so big. So where where is he? How is Grandpa already hungry again? I already fucking fed him his mush. I gave him like 10 vials of blood. That gluttonous bastard. Oh, there he- there, wait, there he is! I'm coming! Blow this up. Let's go now, boy. Grandpa ain't gonna be too pleased if you let them escape. Couldn't have gone far. Is he chasing someone? Oh, there she is. Yep. There she is. Oh, they actually got her. Nice work. Grandpa is pleased. That was easy. I'm just a gifted gamer, actually. At the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. I'm just better.
three killers is insane. That legitimately seems extremely hard to win as survivors. Especially since I can infinite sprint too. I don't know, this seems like it'll be a really hard game for survivors, but maybe not. Oh, this is so bad manners. She disconnected during one of their kills. Oh, that's fucked up. You absolute scoundrel. It's well balanced, is it? Let me try playing as the victims. And before I do that, let me take a little tinkle. Give me two seconds, I'll be right back. You've been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. I had to Find pee. Your friends, hunt for life-saving items fill up my like water. tools, bone scrap, and help. I'll figure it out. This is probably just like Dead by Day Dead by Daylight survivors, but with three killers. Which one dictates the the QTE stuff? I imagine proficiency. Actually, let me show you stealth and see if I can hide right under their nose. This guy's a level 10 Leland already? 
Jesus Christ. Charlie's gonna lose in like two minutes. Man, fuck you, check this run out. I'm about to go crazy. Yeah, we have a brand new EP coming out in about a month or so. We got five new tracks on the EP. How is this guy leveling up right now in the lobby? He went from literally level zero to level four already. What is he doing? How is he leveling up? He's level five now. What is happening? How is this guy leveling up? Now level six. The skill tree. Oh, can you just respec whenever you want? Skill tree, but be in unready mood. Gotcha. I just can't imagine that you can just respec willy nilly. That'd be pretty fun. Letting the Valorant team do that, I think, would be fun. Welcome aboard, Sunrays. The search continues in Huerto County About to for a pop off. University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search... I feel like I'm going to fail all the quick times. ...will unearth the lead. Family and Wait, can you hear me? Did my mic just light up? I'm assuming this means they'd know where I am when I make all this noise. Fuck it. Let them come. to just spam or spam not hold yeah I see that now grandpa was on the roof up here last time why is my shit lit up like this I see one of my friends running around over there oh god I see why let me in let me in fuck Jesus Christ! Okay. We'll be fine. I can hear him coming. Oh shit! I was hoping you didn't see me. Oh fuck. Jiminy Christmas. No! You bitch! How could you? 
Go! Oh, fuck. Alright, I've accomplished nothing right now. Nothing! Why are you following me? I see him on the other side of that wall. Does he know I'm here? There's no way, right? He can't. There's no way he can sense me. He can smell you? No way. He can't. There's no way. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just- I'm literally just hanging out. Get away from me! I'm gonna hide here for a little bit. <laughs> and wait. Oh, absolutely not, Pope. I would get my ass beat for sure. No shot. Appreciate it, Zach. Thank you and welcome. What does my right click do? What is this? Cool. Somebody whining. This is a so I need the fuse box tool. Shit. Shit. Get away. Get away. Hopefully, they'll go for them and not me. Oh, we lost one. They were high level. How are they getting Everybody fucked up? Human, isn't it? Okay, bone scrap. What does this do for me? It's a shiv. Okay, so you can use it to stun them. Okay. I don't want to just stun them, I want to kill them. Or escape. If only I could employ some of the techniques Dale taught us from Detroit Urban Survival Training Fitness Course and just steal the chainsaw off of that guy. Oh shit. Uh, nobody outmashes me. What? What? What a bunch of baloney. What was that? Was that not a mash? It had to be a mash, right? Well, that was wholesome. Thank you, Juno. Hey, thanks, Hero. He's doing alright, Bob. Hope you're doing well. 
Thanks, Winter. No, that definitely had to be a mash. I guess I actually got outmashed somehow, which I think is a bunch, a bunch of baloney, but I have faith that this guy is going to carry. It's all up to him. Come on, baby. Take it home. Take it home. The little mini games here are so much easier than in Dead by Daylight. It's just pressing E at the right times and nothing else. With the generators in Dead by Daylight, you still gotta be pretty, like, skillful. I damn, really appreciate it, Yuri. Thank you for the generosity tonight. Not a bad idea, MP. Fully upgraded grandpa's game over for survivors. What does fully upgraded grandpa do? It's like an AC-130? They definitely saw you, brother. I really feel like these bushes are not great at hiding you. Okay, so this is max level grandpa, so we can see what it does. I, I don't think he knows. Maybe he has like an anti-grandpa skill. Oh no, he knows. Oh, good move! Start looping. Good move! This guy definitely played Dead by Daylight. Well, there's no way he can win, right? Oh man, she even set a trap there with the the stink juice. Man, she's got stink juice everywhere. Good move! Oh wait, how did that hit? What a bunch of baloney! Oh, you're so fucked, brother. Damn. Not a bad attempt. It really feels super hard to win as survivors in this one. Three killers is tough, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't watched it all yet, Riot. But I will. I'll try one more as victims here. I'll just do Julie again, whatever. Does YouTube do ads on stream? Only if I ask it to. There's an ad button I can click, but I have no plans of ever clicking it. Although I am curious what the ads on live streams are. I don't think they're full screen ads or anything, right? What are ads like on YouTube streams? I don't know if I've ever seen one. Click it for science. Okay, here. I literally just said I have no plans of clicking it, but here. Tell me what this does. Appreciate it. Have a good night, CO. So it's a full screen ad. It was a five second skippable ad. For everybody? No, because some people are saying they didn't get any. So they act like standard YouTube ads, but there's a lot of different YouTube ads. There's the skippable, unskippable, banner, display. So does this randomly choose who gets served what? You liking the game so far? Eh. I haven't played enough to know for sure, but it just seems like a dead by daylight diet. I feel like if you're the survivors though, you're gonna be really fucking struggling in this game till you're like max level or some shit. It seems tough. Three killers instead of one. Jiminy Christmas. Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search... Maybe, maybe channel members don't get ads because I didn't... Maybe, yeah, I don't really know. Thanks, Thunder. Friend right next to me. Let's go. Going on? Uh, wait. Maybe through here? So I'm looking for tools to escape. This will be useful. Don't think about it. And are they just randomly put in the map somewhere? Or they're like a a list of tasks I need to complete. This will help. 
Because if it's just randomly in the map somewhere, I feel like... You could get extremely lucky and just be able to insta-leave. Instead of having to do a bunch of tasks. Why is there an interactable on her ass cheek? If I can heal her. All my friends are here. Is anything I can use? Got it. Oh shit. Oh, I got the unlock tool. Does that mean I can leave? Welcome, Zoon. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Someone woke Grandpappy. Wait, why am I highlighted? The fuse box is upstairs. Okay. I'll just follow the little survivor train. These guys are good. These are seasoned veterans. Stop moving! You absolute imbecile, stop moving! Don't lead him to me! I have max stealth, they'll never see me here. I have the unlock tool, you goober. I'm in a bit of a hairy situation here. Did he see me? <laughs> Idiot. God, he's stupid. Cringe. Open your eyes! Dummy. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I have to find the right spot. Shit. They saw me. They saw me. I have to go and I have to go now. Will you let them to me? Why would you do this? What an absolute imbecile. I think I gave him the slip. Oh god, one of them's getting a blow- oh. No. Okay. We lost one. They're everywhere. Need to find the fuse box. I think 
clear. Maybe. Where's the fuse box? Why does the door over there require an unlock tool? Yet I can just go up out the door right next to it, no problem. It feels dumb if you just use the unlock tool on the other door. Hi, Hydro. I cannot find this fuse box. Unless it's like out here. Oh, big lag spike. Maybe I start the car and drive out? Oh boy. How did we lose everyone so quickly? Did I win? That... okay. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta get the fuck out. Bad team this time. I'm carrying hard, too. So what did starting that car battery do? I don't want to go up that way. Thanks, Kyle. I thought it was a cute thumbnail, but I guess not. It opened the gate behind you. It opened the gate you passed. Are you, so you're telling me the car battery I started and ran through? Actually, I would have won if I just went the right way. You're gonna get out, okay? I can hear the chainsaw. I need to just run. I just need to run. Fuck it. I have to watch myself. That's the wrong way. Uh, I don't see them. Push it. I can't crawl through that. Huge. Uh, come on. Just open. Please. You fucking liar. This didn't open the gate behind me. Oh god. I'm just out in the open. She doesn't see me. God, that's embarrassing. Actual trash. Worst video game player I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, she's so bad. Disgusting. Disgusting. Uninstall. 
Get out of my game. Uninstall. You make me sick. They're just going to max out Grandpa and there's going to be nothing I can do about it because I don't know how I'm supposed to open that gate. They all have an, like, an inkling that I'm over here. But they're, they're too dumb to find me. Bunch of, bunch of stupid dummies. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit. <laughs> Grandpa's gonna be maxed out in the next game over. How do I open this door? So I did the car battery. This would be the clutchest shit of all time if this is actually what I need. What do I do with this? I don't know, what do I do with it? I have no fucking clue. Do the car again? Okay. Uh, wait. Did they hear that? Turn off battery and use the gate. Okay. Oh boy. Well, nowhere to hide. <gasps> That's so sad. I had it too. I didn't realize you could break these. I thought that was a sound indicator. Oh, no. That's so sad. Look at ah! Ah, I thought it was sound, not a lock break. I actually would have got away too. I didn't. I didn't realize! I thought the reason you had to go slow was because of sound. Fuck, I was right there. You dirty bastard. If I had like a split second more, I was out. I was gone. Damn, that hurts. That hurts. I pulled defeat from the jaws of victory right at the end. So why did I turn on the battery 
Oh, so do you have to do battery twice, then get the tool, then get out? Is that how it works? True, Nick. Yeah. The supplied credentials are invalid. What, have I been banned? They probably turned it back on. Oh, okay. So I turned it off the first time, and then they must have turned it back on. Gotcha. Alright, well it's already like 3am, so I'm just going to call it a night anyway. Alright, thanks for tuning in. New members, welcome aboard. And thank you for all the generosity. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks again. See ya.